What's up guys, it's Chas. Today I'm going to be doing a PlayStation Vita tutorial. It's something a little bit different. I usually do PlayStation 3 tutorials and I haven't uploaded in a while. That's that's really <laughs> nothing new, but I wanted to try something different. Uh, maybe help people in a different jailbreak scene, kinda, I guess. But I've had my PlayStation Vita for over two years. It's been jailbroken and I really haven't made a single tutorial about it. So I thought I might as well make one. This tutorial is gonna be for people who have at least just a little bit of knowledge of Henkaku and stuff and are familiar with um, the layout and everything like uh, installing plugins and stuff like that so the uh, run through is just gonna be a little bit quick I'm gonna try and stop and um, explain ex exactly what you need sorry if I'm repeating myself a little bit I'm I'm just kinda confusing myself so there's only a few things that you need you need two plugins and you need some way to install your game to the Vita. You can use the USB transfer transfer, uh, transfer, or FTP. So we're just going to run through on how to do that real quick. So in Vita Shell, I already have the plugins installed. Here are the plugins right here. It's no NPDRM and Repatch. If you don't already have these plugins, I'll leave the link in the description. But as you can see, these are kernel plugins with the tag uh, skprx or kernel plugins so in your config.txt make sure you have them installed correctly under the kernel tag here they are installed correctly just in case you didn't know how to do that and after you have them installed correctly make sure you go to your henkaku settings reload the config.txt and restart the device um, if you don't do that the plugins won't work correctly I've noticed that with a few people they'll install the plugins not restart their or not reload their config.txt and restart the device and they complain that the plugins don't work when they do you just have to do that first if you don't do that it's probably not gonna work now after you have these installed now we want to go download which game that we want to install to our PlayStation Vita so what I use to download games is something called no pay station um, I think this is the browser or application that most people use to download PlayStation Vita games but um, the game that we're gonna be doing today is Revenant Dogma as you can see I already have it downloaded and it's a 3.68 uh, firmware game. My PS Vita is on 3.65 so obviously by default this game isn't gonna run on my Vita and I'm just gonna prove that to you real quick. So I'm gonna be transferring my game with FileZilla. Um, you can do this with your PlayStation Vita charger cable if it's hooked up to your PC and you have your transfer mode set to USB in Vita shell but I'm just gonna do FTP for this tutorial. You can follow me if you want to but you don't have to. So the directory that your games are installed First, you have to go, you have to open UXO on your PlayStation Vita. Open UXO, and then it's App at the top. And this is where all your applications are stored. As you can see, we have Vita Shell, and we have Molecular Shell. And this is where the uh, H Encore application is. So but anyway, this is where your applications are installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag our game into this directory right here, where our applications are installed. So I'm going to open up where I have my game saved. This is all my uh, downloaded PlayStation Vita games. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, they have different title IDs. If you want to know which title ID your game has, you can go back to your No PlayStation browser. And when you go to your game, for example, I downloaded Revenant Dogma, the US version. This is the title ID. It's PCSE01322. Now if I go back to that directory, this is the game that has the title ID. So, let's open FileZilla again and just drag this game right into there. And now all we have to do is just wait for the game to transfer over. So once your game is installed, you can just head back to your PlayStation Vita. So when you're back in Vita Shell, you want to back out all the way. Make sure you're not in any directories and this is the screen that you want to see. Um, when you press triangle, you'll have an option to refresh the live area. So if I back out right now, you won't see the game that I just installed. And if we go back into Vita Shell, let's refresh the live area. It'll try to refresh all of the applications on your PlayStation Vita. And when you go to your live area, you can see that my brand new game, Revenant Dogma, is there. So let's go ahead and try to start it. And when I try to start it, it should give me an error. That means it's a higher firmware game. I can't run it on my PlayStation Vita. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the Repatch plugin. So let's go back into Vita Shell. And we're going to go to UXO. 
and we're going to make a directory or a folder and we're going to name it repatch as you can see I already have a folder called repatch if you don't press triangle click new and click new folder and name it repatch in the repatch folder what we're going to do is we're going to place comp packs in it what comp packs are is they're decrypted modules of games and we're running off those decrypted modules to run the higher firmware game on PlayStation Vita. I don't know if I got that explanation exactly correct, but that's basically what it is. So if I open my repatch, um, <clears throat> I have a comp back here for a different game that I've already done. But what we're going to do is we're going to install the comp pack for Revenant Dogma. So head back over to your no PlayStation browser if you have been using that and find the game that you just downloaded. So here's Revenant Dogma, which is the game I downloaded. Now if we right click it, we have the option to download its comp pack. So click download comp pack and click this little drop down arrow right here. And here's the package that we want to download. So click that, and click download. And it should only take a few seconds. They're very small. As you can see, it's 17 megabytes. There we go. Now let's just transfer this over FTP real quick. So when you're connected to your Vita again, go to UXO, go to the repatch folder that you just made, open that. And now we're going to drag our new, newly downloaded comp pack into it. So when you download a comp pack, it should make a new folder called Repatch in your no PlayStation download directory. Uh, when you download a game, it'll your games will download to the app folder. But when you download a comp pack, it makes a brand new one. So if we open that, we'll see all of the comp packs that I have. Like earlier, we're going to use the one that has the same title ID. So this is the title ID. I'm going to drag this uh, comp pack over to that repatch folder let it transfer and it should only take a few seconds and once it's installed we just go back to the PlayStation Vita now we just cancel our FTP server or whatever connection that we were using we can close out Vita shell if you're done with it and we can finally start Revenant Dogma and as you can see it didn't give me an error right on startup um, I don't have an audio cable plugged in, so you're not going to be able to hear the game's audio, so I apologize for that. And as you can see, the game has started up fine. So I'm going to see if I can start a new game. See if it'll do like a cutscene or something so you guys can see it. Yep. And there's a cutscene. I've never played this game before, so I have no clue what it's about. This is just the game that I tested. Uh, I'm sorry if I was uh, repeating a lot of stuff in this tutorial, maybe uh, skimming over things I shouldn't have. I'm sorry I haven't done a tutorial in a while, but I hope I explained everything okay. But um, yeah, th that's the end of the tutorial. Uh, overall, it's pretty easy. It's not anything too complicated. Um, if you guys want any more PlayStation Vita tutorials, let me know, and I'll try my hardest to put out another one. Just let me know what you want it on. And that's it, guys. Peace.